Chairman of the board, as Snyder said, and uh, Gene, you've got some parade information. Yes, now I want you to listen to this carefully and please adhere. The parade's going to begin tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. at 18th and Market. It will go over Market to City Hall, south on Broad, to John F. Kennedy Stadium. In other words, it's reversed, not South Philadelphia to Center City, but Center City beginning at 10.30 at 18th and Market to City Hall, south on Broad Street to John F. Kennedy Stadium for noon 12 o'clock ceremonies. Now, JFK Stadium will open at 9 a.m. until the flyers arrive. Entertainment will be provided, so just come to the stadium. You'll have plenty of entertainment, and there until noon when the ceremonies begin. Ask, or it says, ask fans to come out and have a good time, but please restrain yourself. Don't destroy any property. If you want to cut down our old shirts and ties, that's okay. And if you want to tear my coat, that's okay. But no property. Let's make it a super occasion. Down at John F. Kennedy Stadium, gates open at 9, the Flyers will be there at 12, leading from Center City down Broad Street, and entertainment, there are all kinds of things there. Norm McLean of Hockey News is going to get shot out of a cannon, and uh, uh, we're going to have Ev uh, Borgazani, the Flyers dentist, drill for you. There'll be all kinds of things, so don't miss it. We're going to be back with more players, and we hope a representative from the Sabres after this tasty break. We're with Mike Nicoluck, and Mike is unlike Fred Shiro, because Fred Shiro is a very analytical, scientific super coach, but Mike, because he was a player for so long and deals with these players, perhaps more directly, is a more emotional guy like I am, and while Freddie would say we played the system, I know Mike, Mike Nicoluck feels it right down here with those players. You must be thrilled. Well, I'll tell you, Gene, you know, like, it was so good for the guys, because, you know, uh, everyone sort of felt we weren't good enough, you know, they felt Montreal or... Uh, Buffalo were better than we were, and uh, so our guys really had something to prove, and we come on strong to beat both those teams, and uh, and then we just uh, beat Buffalo in a great series. So you know you got to really be happy for the guys, and they just work like anything. You know that, that was tough out there, and the conditions they played under. I, you got to really think that uh, Jesus, that was got to be probably one of the toughest series I think that they've ever had in the NHL. Just marvelous, and you know it was a typical Flyer win. Uh, the Sabre storm, Perot was at his greatest. And then the the shock troops. The Kelly gets the uh, the winning goal. Clement gets the lead, uh, the insurance goal. And the Sabers, who had 13 in the first period and 13 shots in the second, only had five or six in the last. And that's a typical Flyer victory. Well, that's right, Gene. You know, they they just worked. Uh, Bernie really kept us in there. I thought we uh, sort of were playing a little maybe too cautious, and uh, they were getting a lot of good chances to score, but. Uh, you know, Bernie kept us in there, and he was just super. Uh, what else can you say about a game like that that he played? Uh, and then uh, Bobby Kelly, who uh, I thought, and Barry Ashby thought uh, that he's been working so hard out there. Uh, he was actually, I thought, our, one of our better players in the whole series, the way he was working out there. And I was really, you know, we used to go and always tell Freddie to play Bobby as much as possible because he was just great. And, you know, Bobby Clark made a great play after Korab bumped Kelly to bump Korab to take him out so Hound could make the right move out in front. Well, that's what you're supposed to do, Gene, and Bobby plays a race to the hilt like that, you know, every time he's got to play the man, and I know we're getting off here, but I just want to tell my wife that she better check in at Stover's tonight, and, uh, and I'll meet her, I guess, at the spectrum. We'd like to get a first, uh, Ted, come on in here. We're go oh, Spinner, come on in here, and then we're going to ask Ted Darling to talk. Uh, Brian, uh, in youth, it's always difficult to take defeat after a great uh, year that the... Uh, uh, Sabres have, but maybe the, the bitterness of the defeat is taken off by the fact that the Sabres are a great club and so are the Flyers. Well, uh, that's true. Uh, you know, I, I anticipated a little bit of bad weather uh, playing uh, Philadelphia, maybe because of our record against the uh, Flyers this season, but uh, we had a very good hockey team, but I think that, that the Flyers showed uh, a lot of very consistent fundamental hockey and uh, that's back into peewee you know uh, sending two men in and uh being real tight in your own end having good goaltending and and i mean everybody on the flyers he played everybody and they they had that momentum going for them and i think that i think i didn't think that uh we showed that uh we wanted to win it as bad as they did in some of the games especially in philly but uh, they played well and they they won the cup and uh, they deserved the way they played Billy Clement says you're a team of the future, and he would say look out for Buffalo next year, and I would think right now, despite the loss, that you can't wait to start next year. It's going to be a good experience to be in the finals, and I think they'll, they'll take it to their advantage next year. I hope so. Brian Spencer, thank you. And Ted Dom